Hey everyone, Brooke here. I hope everyone's having an awesome day. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a walkthrough of the Books Palma. This is a mini e-reader by the company Books. This is a six inch, maybe six and like a little over, maybe, I don't wanna say six and a half, but it is an e-reader. It's very reminiscent of a smartphone and it's their newest device in their lineup. This is using e-ink technology. Interesting thing about e-ink is that it's actually a company that all these other companies that are making e-devices, they have to go through one company. So it's pretty interesting. I believe it's like a license they buy or something like that, but there's one company that makes this technology called e-ink, which is like literally looking at like a piece of paper almost. It's very easy on the eyes. I prefer using e-ink technology 100%. I haven't really delved in like desktops and things like that, but I really, really, really like this technology. But I'm just gonna be doing a walkthrough. This isn't going to be like a techie review or anything like that. That's not really how I do reviews. I just wanna do a walkthrough to show you how it looks in like real world use situations. So I do wanna say before I begin that this up here is actually broken pixels. I went to record this earlier and I accidentally, when I was doing like the flip, oop, I almost hit again. Uh, I hit it on my counter and I broke pixels. So this is a very, I, I would think durable device or I thought so rather. I got this back at the end of October and I haven't had any issues, but if you do hit it the right way, you will risk breaking pixels. Um, I am a part of the books uh, page on Reddit and there are people that talk about like, you know, these breaking easy as, and some people say they don't. So it's just really kind of, do be careful with your devices. And I'm saying that to myself as well. So anyway, I'm gonna jump into this review. If you have any questions, please leave a comment in the comment sections below. Uh, I do have some apps on here that I'm going to show you, but if you want me to like download other apps like WhatsApp, Telegram, all that, I can certainly do that and make another video. But I'm just gonna do a walkthrough for anybody who was interested that wanted to see how this actually worked. And hopefully this video was helpful to people out there. All right, so there, this is the screensaver. And I chose this screensaver because I like that it has like the calendar section the time it has you know it written out the date on the bottom the battery indicator so this kind of can like sit on your desk and it just gives you a quick overview of the day i think that's really neat on the side we have a refresh button and we have the two uh volume rockers and then this is the power button so the refresh button is a really cool um like feature of this device because with e-ink technology, a lot of times there's ghosting. And a lot of people are familiar with e-ink from using like e-readers like a Kindle or a Nook or like a Kobo and, and those type of devices. But what happens sometimes is that there is ghosting, which means that when you go from page to page, you'll see the previous page on the next page. So this, when you hit it, it actually refreshes and it kind of erases that ghosting. Um, and then the volume rockers are just for listening to videos and music. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, play that in a little bit. And then this is kind of like the main power slash home button. So let's go ahead and hit that. And so I actually was reading a book on there. So this came like fully stocked with tons of apps that I deleted because I just don't use them. Uh, I did keep some of them because I was like, well, I'll figure those out later. But when it comes to like what I actually use, there's only a few apps. I'm trying to use this device as a companion device to my light phone. So I'll take that out really quick. Uh, as you can see, like this is a crack, uh, but it doesn't affect the, the actual like use of this phone. I've had this phone for four years now and I got that within the last month. So just be careful with these devices. Um, I actually had this like perched up on something listening to music, which was ridiculous. I was at work and it fell and it actually fell from like a pretty high, like four foot drop, um, but I'm still able to use it. But this phone is a very basic phone. As you can see, it's, uh, it's got like limited capabilities, which is why I got it to begin with. It's an e-ink device. I do a full review of this phone. I'll leave it in the comments below if you wanna check it out but it's got like phone alarm, calculator, calendar, directions, hotspot, music, notes, podcast settings. It's very, very basic. So 
the Book's Palma comes in because it kind of supplements what this doesn't have. So me personally, I love that. And these are by two different brands, by the way. This is by the Light Phone. This is by Book's, the company. But I love that it's like separate. So some people would be like, oh, that's ridiculous. I don't want to carry around two devices. And you have to find your use case for these type of, of devices. But for me personally, like when I'm out and about, I just have my light phone. When I'm at home, I can still use e-ink and browse, you know, Reddit or whatever, read my books. And, you know, I get a lot out of this. So it's kind of like, this is a great companion device for the light phone. So it doesn't do what the light phone does. Like it doesn't make calls. I'm certain that you can get messaging apps on this because this is using an Android software. Like it's, that's, the system that it uses. So I'm positive that you can get like WhatsApp and all that on here. As far as like doing like FaceTime calls, it's not going to do any of that. There's no front cameras. Um, and even the back is a document scanner, which I'll show you in a second. So it's, it's, I think in my personal opinion that this is a great companion to this device. So let me go ahead and put this away so we don't break anything again. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna show you really quick like how I use this and like what you can expect. So I'm sorry for the glare, my setup's a little funky. All right, so we got Kindle, traditionally e-ink readers being one, it does the job really well. Um, as you can see, it's like, you know, it's very responsive. It looks like you're reading a book. This is actually a book on thyroid. Is this on thyroid? No, this is on a different, this is a different author. But anyway, this is what it looks like. And this is what I love too. Like instead of, you know, strolling or doom scrolling Instagram rather, like you can literally like just pull up an app, get a book and read and kind of like just spend your time a little more productively than, you know, just watching reels. Uh, Cause I know that th those can be addicting. Uh, one app I just want to show you guys really quick is called the Libby app. I think it's really cool. Uh, this is an app that you can use with your library card to borrow books from your library, um, eBooks. So a lot of people don't know about that. You can even borrow audio books and you can listen to the audio books on here. I haven't gotten an audio book. I don't really do e audio books, but I really want to try it with this just to see how it works. Uh, all right. So we have the Barnes and Noble app. Um, Oh, this is my, my thyroid book I was reading. Okay, same thing, works really well. This is the maps. I haven't actually played with the maps, but as you can see, that's what it looks like. Let me see. Um, okay, so this is my job site. Now, the thing is with this is that you need Wi-Fi connection. So like if you have a mobile hotspot, uh, even like the light phone has a mobile hotspot. So you can like, you know, turn that on and you can use that with this. Okay, so let me go ahead and choose. All right, I'm like doxing myself. So let me go ahead and just, okay. Yeah, so it literally works just like, you know, Google Maps. That's how that works. Hold on one second. Get out of here. All right, so I do have that on there. Uh, the tools, pretty basic. All right, so let's go into the meat of this that I know a lot of people are probably interested in seeing, and that is going to be how this app, or this device rather, actually browses like the internet. So they have something called a Neo browser. Okay, and this is called Osea Malibu. Uh, this is a, just a website for like skincare. Um, but I pulled it up because I thought it was a good, you know, I had a bunch of pictures and it was just like a good way to like show you how this actually looks. Hold on one second. Okay. So this, now I'm going to show you something really quick. I'm not going to get into all the controls, but I'm going to show you the important stuff. So you slide down and you go to the e-ink center. Now, for this like tells you like the apps configuration. So like for pictures, you can make it dark, you can make it lighter. Same thing with like the filters. You can like really play around with how the pictures actually look. So let me see if I can scroll. 
I want to see if I can have a picture in the back. Okay, I'm going to, I'm not going to have, I'll have this like this in a little bit, but I want to have this close so you guys can see it. All right, so, okay. Okay, so let me see something. Oops. Um, all right, let me go back to Neo browser. Let me go find... Okay, so there you go. There's a picture. All right, so let me go back to e-ink center. If you see the back, I don't know if you guys can see the back. Can make it light, can make it dark. Can make it light, can make it dark. Okay, so we're gonna leave it like this. So these are the refresh modes. So they have HD, so normally I keep it in fast because I browse websites and I find that the video quality isn't like fantastic with these type of devices, but I didn't get this for the video quality. So I leave it on fast, but there's HD, which is uh, suitable for text reading, balanced, which is good for like, if you're thumbing through documents, if you're scanning documents, that kind of stuff. Fast is what I use. Ultra fast is for playing videos. So there's a video playing in the back. So I'm gonna see, I just wanna make sure it's not getting out of focus. Too bad. Okay. So just watch the video if you can. It do, I don't see a big difference, truthfully. I don't, I saw a difference when I went to fast. I mean, ultra fast. Like a little bit, it's hard to, it's hard to tell, especially cause it's in the back, but this is how it looks. This is how the videos look. And one thing about this device is that it really does a great job at, I'm going to go ahead and just refresh. It really does a great job at scrolling. It's fast. Like that's impressive, especially for people who are familiar with e-ink. Ink is very slow. There's a lag, especially if you're using devices like the Light Phone, the Free Write, or just even other e-readers. Like it's it's pretty limited, but the Books Palma really, I mean, they, I think they're ahead the curve when it comes to e-ink. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you Reddit. Okay, I'm just going to show you scrolling wise. All right. So let me go to the Long Island. Okay. Like, look how fast that is, you know? Like this is, not that I ever scroll that fast, but like when it comes to, hold on one second, let me make sure. Okay, when it comes to like, you know, just scrolling. And it does a pretty good job at, you know, loading pictures. I mean, as you can see, the pictures aren't like excellent, but another thing, actually, let me show you this. So part of the, the front light. Now I like to use no backlight. That's just my thing. I don't like backlight. I have very sensitive eyes, especially as a welder, big reason why I like e-ink. But if you're someone that likes backlight, then that can change the experience for you. So we have the brightness. You can Turn up the brightness. I don't know if you can, really, yeah, you can see that. You can go, let's go all the way high and then you can do like warm. So, so let's go. Um, I'm gonna refresh it sometimes if it jams up. Go to refresh. Okay, so you saw that in real time. Sometimes there's a little bit of technical difficulties. All right, so let's go back here. Because I think I'm, cause I'm just playing around with it too much. Go like this. Okay, so we're gonna leave it like, you know, 
whatever that is, 90, 80. So that changes it a little bit. That changes it, you know, a little bit. Makes it a little brighter. But that's how the pictures look. Like they don't look fantastic or anything like that. Okay. This is, oh, the remarkable. I get a lot of e-ink ads. You have some different settings for the type of paintbrush you're using and the weight of that paintbrush, the lack of lag. It's almost instantaneous when you write on it. Okay. Go back to scrolling, blah, 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 blah. All right, so I wanna take you guys into the videos. So I just wanted to show you how that looked. Let's get out of this subreddit and let's scroll for a second. Like it's impressive. It does. It's a very fast experience, especially again considering it's e ink. That's a pictures look like. It's not horrible. It's not horrible. I mean, there is. Oh wait, this is in Greenport. Finally. Oh, okay. Sorry. Um. There is like color displays from this company, but I hear mixed reviews and it's still like way behind on making any real difference for the EA experience. So let me go ahead and get out of here. All right, let's just get out of Reddit. All right, so I wanna show you how the videos look. Um, this is the Gmail just to show you like you can have whatever, right? Like whatever apps that you would have normally on another Google phone on this phone or on this device rather. Like it's really cool. Like you're really not missing the experience when you get a device like this because it's other than just like the color and you know how it looks. It, it looks pretty much the same as a regular smartphone. Uh, it's obviously different with the technology, but you can put any app on this. I'm gonna show you with YouTube. Now I'm going to play a video song and now I'm going to play the iPhone song. Um, you know, I'm going to have them play side by side, but I'm very impressed by just the sound on this device. Okay. So let's go to here. Okay. So I'm going to play a couple of shorts just so you can see, I'm not even going to pump the volume up yet. was never about following in the footsteps of all of those who came before you. It was never about being like the others. One day you're going to see it. That happiness was always about things real men should never do. One, you don't get the full development of human personality by trying to cultivate personality. Did you ever hear of anybody? The Joker once said. Seven deep messages about life. Number one, we trust our words, we trust our rationality as opposed to our... So as you can see, like it's, it's pretty impressive in my opinion, especially if you're familiar with e-ink devices, it's loud. I'm actually going to be playing that song for the example. <laughs> All right. Okay, so as you can see, like, it's pretty fast. Uh, again, for this type of device, it's pretty awesome. So let me go ahead and play a song. All right, this is my gym mix. Don't judge. As you can see, like, there's ghosting. Hold on one second. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if it's picking it up. But, like when you hit that, it gets rid of it. So I don't know. Sorry, that's a little blurry. Okay. You're not really gonna see much here, but there is ghosting.
gonna put this loud now. It's right by my microphone though, so it might be a little loud, but. This is a dark video, so it's not a good example, but. Sometimes, like, not that I get kicked out, but it, it takes it takes a minute or a couple couple seconds rather to like adjust. Whereas, like with like let's say an iPhone, it's it's speedy. But again, for like what this is, it it really does a good job. All right, so I wanted to pick one song in particular. As you can see, it's like very dark, right? Everything is like really dark. Even if, let's say, you bump up the screen. And the thing is with the battery, right? So like, I charge this probably once every two weeks, but if I were to like listen to a lot of videos on it and really, um, you know, be on this media heavy, then I definitely would have to charge it more. But it's at like 42%, I think. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna pick any song because I want to compare the two. So I'm gonna grab, hold on one second. I'm gonna grab my, my iPhone. And I'll pay a different song. What a song that has like range. So just give me one second. So I'm going to play this device first. Let me just find, okay, I got it. All right. Okay. And you're going to, I'm just going to compare the, the sound. Okay, I pressed the wrong button, so. Okay, let's just go back to here. phone really quick just to show you the range Okay, 
okay? okay. Yeah, this is wild. I, I almost think the boobs is better. This sounds like stereo. Does that make sense? This has more like bass. All right, so that was just to give you an idea of the sound. They sound similar, but I have to say the Books Palma sounds better, in my personal opinion, just like for my ear. So let me go ahead and get back to that. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. So that, my friends, is just how, how it looks and how it works. And I hope that was helpful for you. I'm going to show you really quick what the DocuScan looks like. So the DocuScan is really just for taking pictures of documents, but obviously it's really just the camera, right? Like that's, oh, I saved one. Okay, so this is, yeah, like can't really, can't really see it too well. Hold on one second. Let me show you, okay, let's do document two. So that's what it looks like, right? Like, that's a kind of well. <laughs> it's a phone. It's like obviously not meant you know, to really take pictures with, but I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture of the light phone, the Lemur case. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how it looks. And you can even like, what's cool about this is that you can save it as like a PDF. Um, you know, you can go to next, next. And I can literally like edit it, uh, you know, replace it, delete it, do next again. Um, you can save it as a PDF. Uh, you can add things to it. I don't know what OTR means. I'm not sure what that means. I'm not going to pretend either. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's cool. Like this has a lot of like capabilities. So I guess let's say if like, you know, maybe like documents like tax documents or something like that, like you can make a file on here. It has a good amount of storage. But again, I don't really know too much about like what's good storage, what's bad storage. Um, this is very, this is like the bright, you know, the backlight is bright. So I'm going to go ahead and go back and just show you what it can look like, which is how I prefer to use it with no backlight. Um, but yeah, as far as everything goes, this, you have to think of it like a smartphone. It's a smartphone that you don't make calls with that fills like a weird space and void in the e-ink industry, especially for those who are using like flip phones or light phones. And they want something that's not going to be as distracting, but they're still able to use like the same capability that they would get from like, like an iPhone or an Android or whatever. So I hope this review was helpful for you. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments below and I will be happy to do another review, add more things to it and answer any questions. All right. Thank you so much. And I'll check you guys back again on the next video.